In this video, you're going to get great tips and tricks on how to wrap a guitar using tools and material from our vinyl to transform a standard boring guitar into one that is custom and cool. The first step is to choose the wrap film you want from our vinyl and place your order. Once the material is shown up, now it's time to prep the guitar. It's always a good idea to remove the strings and then tie them up for easy reinstall once the wrap is done and remove any hardware that is easy and straightforward. Now using rapid prep, spray it directly on the microfiber towel and clean the guitar. Cleaning is always the most important part of the wrap process, so be sure to be extra thorough during this process and focus especially on the edges. Once the guitar is clean, now it's time to apply the first piece, in this case the top. Make sure it fits left to right and remove a portion of the liner. Slide the liner underneath the material and crease it so it lays extra flat. Now flip the piece over and place it lightly on the edge of the guitar. Run a finger on the edge to hold it. Now it's very important with the free hand to pull towards the back, in this case towards the neck, then squeegee onto the surface. This creates nice even tension and it's always a good idea to pull the liner in increments. Be sure not to remove the entire liner. Often on guitars there's raised objects, in this case one is coming up, so don't pull the liner too far away. Squeegee close to the base, but don't go past it too much. Now run a finger on the top edge of the raised object, making sure the material is nice and uniform. Click the blade so that it's extra sharp. Now pulling away with the free hand towards the neck, cut the material safely away. Be sure the blade is extra shallow so the tip is just under the vinyl and angle the blade in towards the raised object. So to be clear, the side of the blade will run along the top of the raised object and the tip of the blade will be just under the film. This is what's called a relief cut. And once the three edges are cut, vertical and the horizontal towards the front section now, tuck in the material safely and relax free towards the base. Once the material is safely tucked to the bottom, then the top section will be need to apply it. Pick it up from the raised object carefully, pull the liner a little farther away from the raised object, then relax the film towards the other side. The reason why you only cut three sides and not all four sides is now the material won't be short on this section, as the material was bridging over the entire raised object. So with the material safely tucked around the raised object, remove a little bit of the liner and continue the squeegeeing process. And here you'll see how to work around two other raised objects. One lays flat to the surface, but it's still raised, in this case the protective cover. Here the squeegee is tucking it nice and uniform into the base. This is very easy and straightforward. The next raised object is the neck. Remove the entire liner, then run a finger on the top edge, then using a short shallow blade, cut angled in towards the neck. This will allow the material to relax nice and safe to the base. Use the hard side of the squeegee to tuck it in nice and clean, and repeat the exact same steps for the other side. Make a relief cut on the high side, then tuck the material into the base. Click the blade again so it's extra sharp. Now it's time to remove the material away from the open circle. Run your finger on the top edge to make sure it's 100% uniform, and once the cut is started, with the free hand, pull in the opposite direction to keep nice uniform tension. This will help ensure a straight cut. Once the cut is made, run a finger to seal the deal. Now, coming back into the raised object that was cut at the very beginning, make sure that it's tucked safely into the base, then cut it away at a 45 degree angle. Once the cut is made, remove the excess film safely from the surface, and then come back in with a hard-sided squeegee to seal the deal. Click the blade again so it's extra sharp, and now it's time to cut out the protective cover. The material is set up with the buffer side of the squeegee by tucking it safely into the base, and now with a blade angled just slightly in towards the gap, the tip of the blade will be held by the raised object. Once the excess film has been cut, remove it safely away, then come back in with a hard side of the squeegee to seal the deal. To prep the excess film from being cut away from the side, run a finger and application glove around the entire edge, once the material is 100% uniform, then cut the material safely away. See how the free hand pulls away to make even tension, and the angle of the blade is roughly at a 90 degree angle towards the side. So the blade runs parallel to the edge of the guitar. So while the free hand pulls safely away to create that nice even tension, the blade cuts at a nice 90 degree angle around the outside edge. Cut from the neck to a halfway point, then repeat the exact same steps on the other half. Pull away and cut at the right angle. Once the excess film has been removed, run a finger on the outside edge to make sure it's 100% sealed, and now it's time for the sides. 
With the side piece now, make sure you have enough material that covers around the entire guitar and that you have a little bit of excess material left and right, roughly around an inch. Now start at one side of the neck, stretch the material out, and try to keep the liner on as long as possible. It's a good idea to stretch and pull the film so it lays nice and relaxed free around the corners. So here you can see the material is picked up, pulled with the liner on, and then stretched nice and even around the top corner. This stretches out the wrinkles and makes them nice and even. If you do have some wrinkles, keep the liner on, pull down with one hand, and then pull towards the side with another. This relaxes the material enough so that it can be squeegeed around the corner. At the halfway point, flip the guitar around and repeat the exact same steps. Pull up and over with the liner on, hold it towards the surface one hand, pull towards the side to relax the wrinkles. Once the material lays nice and flat, because this is high quality cast film from our vinyl, there'll be no bubbles because it has an air egress feature. The area around the neck can get a little curvy at this section, so keep the liner on as long as possible, pull low and flat to even out the tension, squeegee the material tight to the surface, remove the entire liner, Spread the material evenly, left to right with both hands, squeeze it onto the surface, and keep in mind using a monkey strip is absolutely critical because it's super thin, and an application glove for setting up the edges. The final stage is to read the wrinkles and spread the tension out evenly. Here, pulling low and flat to one corner, and then pick the material up and pull it towards the other corner. Once the material is tucked safely into the base of the neck, cut it away safely with a sharp blade, then come back in with a hard sided squeegee and seal the deal. To remove the excess film, repeat the same steps as from the main piece that was applied to the top. The free hand pulls the material safely away to create nice even tension, and the angle of the blade runs parallel to the bottom edge. Once one side is complete, rotate the guitar and repeat the exact same steps. Always run a finger to make sure the material is 100% uniform on the edge, then cut it safely away. Keep in mind that the overlap in this case will be about a sixteenth of an inch. This is because the angle of the blade on both sides of the cut was 90 degrees. This creates a nice, perfect, uniform overlap that is extremely hard to see, yet is very durable because there's no tension on the edge. So you see here at the final stage, the material is being pulled away by the freehand, set up with an application glove and a finger, then cut safely away with a sharp blade. Once all the excess film has been cut away from this top section, always run a finger to seal the deal to make sure it's 100% uniform. And the final piece to put on is the back section, and keep in mind that even though the guitar was cleaned at the very beginning of the install, while the first two pieces were put on, the guitar was moved around a lot. This can leave a lot of handprints on this back section, so wipe it down one more time, and now simply just place on the large piece. In this case, there's no raised objects to work around, so it's very straightforward. Lock in with a permanent hinge, remove the liner a little bit at the halfway point, then remove the entire liner at the very end. Once it's on the entire section, run a finger to set up the edge and cut away the excess film in the exact same manner. Pull away with the free hand, keep the blade parallel to the outside edge. This creates that 1 16th of an inch overlap that looks great and holds up really well. Around this tight curve, make sure that free hand pulls away with nice even tension, then remove the excess film. Run a finger completely around the top edge to make sure it's 100% sealed. And now it's time for the final steps, which is to reinstall the strings and any raised objects that are removed at the beginning. So now you know with these great tips and tricks and tools and material from our vinyl that you can transform a boring standard guitar into one that is custom and cool in just a matter of a few minutes.